welcome back. Let's say hello to Mr. John Baptiste. John, congratulations Whoa. on a thousand shows. Na 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 na. I know you're clapping right, and I'm not. Man, I can't we, we, believe it. It seems like just yesterday I met you at the old gig over on 53rd Street. Yep, the 53rd and uh, 11th. Uh, right. Uh, we danced out yeah. in the streets, and I thought I could spend a lot of time with that guy. And Man, I have, I'm glad and we I've did. loved it. Thank you, John. I love it too. It's been great, and and you know, let's get to a thousand more. Let's hit it. That Come sounds on. good. But let's 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 get back together first. Right. Do you have any do you have any music in your fingers that might celebrate a thou? Da, 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 da. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> John Baptiste, everybody. Thank you, John. <laughs> yes, indeed. Have a good one. You too. My guest tonight is an Academy Award-winning filmmaker you know from Roger and Me, Bowling for Columbine, and Fahrenheit 9-11. Please welcome back to a late show, Michael Moore. Hello, Michael. Nice Hello, to have you Steve. back. It's great to be back. How are you feeling? I mean, you were one of the few people in 2016 who sent up the signal flare saying, hey, guys, Trump really could win this one. Let's let, be prepare yourself for this. 2020... Right. Biden's leading by 5 million votes. He looks like he's on track to go to 306 in the Electoral College. Do you think Biden can pull this one out at this point, Michael? He's, ar <laughs> he's already pulled it out. Okay. Uh, and so, so, yes, we all feel great about that. But what we are on guard for is the fact that Trump is, once again, not dealing with reality. And um, I, I never take anything for granted when it comes to him, what he could pull off what he's up to, who he's firing, who he's, you know, replacing the head of the Defense Department with a guy that tripped trying to just go up the steps of the Pentagon. It's it's all of this is uh, I think people are justifiably nervous about um, these getting through these next uh, 69 days or so. Well, let's concentrate on the positive for just a moment. Yes, you're, yes, right. you're, you're a proud Michigander. Yes. And how do you feel that your state now, right now, Biden's lead is 10 times larger than what Trump won the state by in 2016? How does it feel to see your state flip back? Really good. It's, uh, Let me it's write been that down. <laughs> Michael Moore <laughs> said really good. That's very yeah. rare. Well, <laughs> the embarrassment of these last four years of being, every time I hear Michigan being called a red state, it was uh, to remove the scarlet letter uh, last week felt good. I think amongst uh, most of the people I know in Michigan. So, uh, so yes, we did we did something really important. As did the people in Wisconsin and Pennsylvania. What what Those made the, the difference? Three. What made the difference? Do you think this time? Well, uh, four years of of uh, an insane person in the White House. I mean, yeah. that had a lot to do with it. And I think too the the black community was pretty much ignored four years ago. And remember, these are majority black cities, Detroit, Flint, Pontiac. Mm -hmm. um, and if you look at the states, I mean, I mean, the counties, there's about 83 counties in Michigan. Biden won 11 of them. That's it. And yet won the state by that large margin because up the I-75 corridor, all these majority black cities came out in huge numbers uh, for him. And the college towns of Ann Arbor and East Lansing, mm -hmm. huge numbers. So the youth vote, Black vote, uh, that's what really made the difference this year. What uh, do people who aren't from Michigan not understand about the state? Because, yes, you have this victory by Biden there. You have a large urban black population. Tell me about the guys who pretend to be in the army with the camo and say they're militia and think they're going to kidnap the governor. Like, tell me about that, Michigan. I know. I went to high school with them, so I know, I know them. Well, everybody and, went to high school with them, but uh, what, yeah, what, what's well, their really, motivation? I mean, seriously, though, the uh, Terry uh, Nichols, who with Timothy McVeigh, blew up the Oklahoma City Federal Building, uh, graduated the same year I did from high school in the high school next to mine, uh, where I went to high school. So, no, I know these guys. I've known them for a long time, and um, I'm... I'm you know, they're again, I think that they're just full of a lot of bluster. They were demonstrating with their guns at the state capitol earlier this year because they were upset that the that the gyms and the nail salons were closed. 
and I was like, well, good. Uh, maybe there's progress <laughs> being made here. But I, I think that, uh, uh, yes, listen, it's a pro 70 million plus people voted for Trump. So clearly we know the country we live in. The problems aren't necessarily going to go away. Uh, the bigotry, the misogyny, all these things, we're going to still have to work with people that, and maybe with their kids, maybe their kids will, they'll go to school, they'll read books, um, and the next generation will be better. We have to take a quick break, but stick around. We'll be right back with more Michael Moore.